Hello, let's look at this question. Write a program to fill up only part of an array using a while loop. Now, you've done arrays before, and uh, let's start by looking at my declaration of the array. Our word is an array 1.20 of string. So, I want to refresh your memories with a few things. Firstly, this is a global variable. Our word is a global variable because I've declared it under var and above implementation. Counter is a global variable as well. So our word and counter can be used in any of the functions or procedures down below, here yeah, below implementation. Now, this 20 casts in concrete to the size of this array. In other words, this array can have no more than 20 elements. And the labels of those or the, the positions of those elements are described by the numbers 1 up to 20. So I could have made them 5 up to 25, which, have, which would have had the same effect. But this array has indices or indexes from 1 up to 20 and never more. I can only store 20. So it's a static declaration of an array. And of course, we can only store strings in, in it to only use a part of this array. In other words, not all 20 elements. I'm using a counter. And this counter must change as I fill up my array. So if I put in only one element, then counter should be one. And if I put in the first five, then counter should have a value of five. So look at the code. Under this button, I start off by making counter zero, because right at the beginning, there are no elements in this array. I read in a value for word. I'm storing it in temp word because I'm not storing it in the array yet. I must first check whether it is stop because that's the condition I use to uh, terminate my input or whether counter is not perhaps greater than 20. So I get a word. I check whether it's either stop or at least still smaller than or equal to 20. And then I say, so now it satisfies the condition. I increase counter. Counter is now one. And I store this word in our word counter. And immediately I ask for another word so that the loop can continue. Now the loop checks whether that word that has been entered is not equal to stop and whether count is still smaller than 20 and then it continues. So this little loop lets the user enter as many words as he like as long as they are less than or equal to 20 and as long as one of the words is not stop. And of course my display button merely displays the elements in the array. I have this last line here to show what the value of counter is. So let's just scroll to that side. So this last line merely displays the value of counter. So it should give me the number of elements in this array. Let's run the program and see what it does. So enter and let's type in the quick brown and that's good enough and then put in stop so that's three words that I've entered display them and there they are the quick brown and the number of items in this array is three now I do want you to think about the advantages of only using part of this array right now I know that counter is three so I know how many elements are in this array and I know exactly where the next element must be stored so if I have a different procedure or somewhere else in my program, I need to add an element to this array. I can do that easily because I know what counter's value is. I can increase it and store the new value in that new position of counter. 